What's going on guys, it's Greg from East Coast Eyes, and today we have the long-awaited review of the all-new Maverick Tactics. So this again, going along with their theme of releasing heads on July 4th, came out this last July 4th, and it was a pretty heavily anticipated release, and I think it turned out really nice, so I've been using it for a while, I'll get to give you guys the full breakdown on what it's all about. First off, the price, it's 100 bucks, 99.99, so the optic is 89.99, the Centric is $94.99, and this is the most expensive one in their line at a full hundred bucks. So 10 bucks more than the Optic, but it's their newest, you know, the Optic's been out for two years. For the weight, it weighs 5.05 ounces, which is a little bit heavier than what we're used to seeing. Uh, the Optic weighed 4.8 ounces, so it did get heavier from the Optic, but it also got stiffer, which we'll discuss a little later, and I would definitely take the stiffer uh, over the lighter. And it comes in X-Spec only, so only the, uh, the U-Spec with the three inches through the throat, and only in white. So that's kind of what you need to know about the basic specs. Let's get into kind of what they changed about it. So for me, this kind of feels like and seems like playing with it and stringing it and checking it out uh, like an Optic Pro or like an Optic Plus. It's just a, a lot improved version of the Optic. And if you look at the side, uh, the rails are very, very similar. These two are in almost the same exact place as the Optic. And then they just carved out a little bit in the throat here to make this additional strut. So it's got a pretty basic three strut design, uh, really nice angles. And the big change here aesthetically is what they call X-Rail. So you can see looking head on at the rails that they kind of split it where one is kind of going this way and the other one is going this way and they connect in the middle. Uh, and they say this helps redistribute the stress and uh, make it a little bit stronger while reducing weight, similar to what uh, like Cortec or Simrail has done uh, or C-Channel for some other companies. I don't know enough, you know, I'm not an engineer, I don't know enough about structural properties, I don't know if that's actually working, but the head as a whole is definitely stiffer. Uh, I can say that for sure. They have a new and improved throat with more cutouts, so the Tactic was totally solid. The Centric, they had tiny little cutouts, and here, or the Optic was solid, Centric had little cutouts, and the Tactic is fully open, so you've got these three big portholes here, entirely open side window, open windows in the back, and then these two down by the side. So they took a lot of weight out of the throat, but as I said, this is heavier than the Optic, so a lot of the weight went up into the rails to try and make the head stiffer. Down here it says Tactic in this interesting little half in, half out kind of molded font. Uh, it's nothing I've seen before. It's kind of cool looking, but uh, you know, nothing that is functional, just a cool looking little logo. Then some cross hatching pattern uh, across the scoop and across the rails, made in the USA on the back, which we love. Uh, so overall, it looks like a cleaned up Optic much nicer lines, a little bit more complex. They kind of sharpened out some of the lines where the optic would have had smooth curves. Uh, the Tactic has these really sharp cuts a lot of the places, which makes it look really, really mean and aggressive. So uh, now let's get into the stringing of it. Uh, it's strung really, really well. The face shape is very similar to the Optic U, if not almost identical. It's one that I really like. It goes straight up right about to about halfway up the head which works really well, and the bottom rail, they're calling a level three, so optic was level two, centric was level four, two being meant for low, centric being meant for mid-high, um, and so this is right in the middle, meant for a deep mid-pocket, and you can see the offset falls and goes straight out, right around where the bottom rail bottoms out. So both those things combined with the face shape lend to a really easy to string head. A lot of people were saying they weren't totally happy with the move from circular string holes to these four-sided angular string holes. And I don't really care for it either. I like the circular ones. But at the end of the day, this really doesn't make much of a difference when you're stringing the head. So this one strung up really, really well. This has a different pattern than what I'm used to using just to try something else out. Some knots and some knotted SIs and stacked SIs. And then this one is more what I'm used to stringing, which is almost the identical pattern from what I used in the Optic, which is four knots on the side, a one, a one, and then a two and a one on one. It creates a kind of a baggy mid pocket that I'm used to using. It translated really well from my Optic over to the Tactic. So I put a lot of time playing with this stick and shooting around and getting a feel for it since I've been using the Optic. I felt like this would be a great one to incorporate into my lineup and try out pretty extensively. And so far, I love it way more than the Optic. I really like the Optic, but my big problem with it was, over time, it got really flimsy and pinched really, really quickly. And on ground balls, I could feel it waver. Uh, it's a different face shape now, and it's much, much softer. And the big thing with this head is it is much stiffer, uh, which I love. I really like stiff offensive heads, and this one strikes a good balance where it's 
not too stiff, but you could definitely play midfield with it and attack and not have to worry about getting really soft in the heat or really brittle in the cold. Uh, it just has a really strong, stiff feeling. And so overall, I really like playing with it. Strung up well, getting used to the X-Spec, which I like. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's been a really nice transition. I think they did a good job making it look a little bit cleaner. I thought the optic was lacking some things when it came to aesthetics, but not really function. So they did a good job of improving what I would have improved from the optic. It is a little more expensive. So if you don't want to spend the extra 10 bucks, uh, the optic U is going to be something very, very similar. So overall, I love what they did here. Great changes, um, some really nice improvements, and a really overall good looking head. This is one of the offensive heads that I'm more excited about for this year. So let me know what you guys think of the tactic down in the comments. Uh, you can also check tomorrow for a live stringing for the pattern from the other head. Make sure to like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and have a great day.